With a brand new act comes brand new updates. Welcome back to Esports Driven and let's get right into these patch notes. Starting out ranks have been reset and so has the battle pass. Not to mention the Ion 2 bundle skins are now available and they look awesome. The brand new Agent 21 Harbor is officially available. Harbor comes with a very unique controller kit, bringing both cover and stalling potential to help his team both on attack and defense. First, let's talk about his high tide wall ability. Very similar to Viper's toxic screen shape, but kind of different in the way you can use and deploy it. Firstly, you don't recharge your fuel as you would do with Viper. The cooldown works the same way as an Omen Smoke, but takes longer to recover. 40 seconds for Harbor Wall instead of 30 seconds for Omen Stark Cover. Also note that you can curve his wall ability as you do with a Phoenix Blaze Wall. Super handy to block the line of sight of multiple choke points at once. You can be super creative with it. The fact that the ability goes through the map's walls is also creating a ton of outplay potential, which is always very good for Harbor's skill ceiling, especially in pro play. You should also know that crossing the wall will give you and your enemies a slowing effect, so it might be more difficult for you to make pop flash plays like you would with any other line of sight ability. When you play Harbor, keep in mind his high tide will fall past 14 seconds, and won't redeploy itself. Once you get it back, you will need to throw it again. So make sure to use it when your team executes a sight and not a lurk wall similar to Viper's. Its potential on attack is very different. Harbor's Cove ability costing 350 credits is some kind of bubble you can throw similar to a Viper Poison Cloud, but with key differences. It is temporary and also has a shield blocking bullets. You may think this ability is overpowered, but it's quite balanced. First, you can destroy the water shield covering the bubble. You need to shoot it until it breaks. We don't know exactly how much HP it has, but you still should be able to destroy its shield with 7 to 15 bullets. It also works similarly to Astra's Cosmic Divide, as it doesn't stop abilities such as mollies, flashes, or darts, only a few bullets. The price of the ability makes it almost impossible to have an eco or half buy rounds, as we recommend you buy a better gun instead. Cove should be used to plant or defuse the spike safely, or to safely cross a choke point, as it will protect you for a certain amount of time. The third ability coming in Harbor's kit is called Cascade. It looks like a tsunami wave slowing enemies standing in its way. You'll want to use it to stall attacker pushes or to help your team take space on the map. It also works as a very short term line of sight denying ability, which can be used as a way to quickly reposition to another location without letting your enemy know. It's interesting to see some kind of initiator ability on a controller agent. We'll soon see how these abilities develop in ranked and pro play, to figure out the true potential of Harbor's water based kit. Finally, let's take a look at his ultimate ability, Reckoning. You'll be able to summon a geyser pool on the ground. Enemies standing in the area will be targeted by successive geyser strikes. Players caught within a strike are concussed. This ability has similar potential as a breach or fade ultimate in sight takes or retake scenarios. It's very interesting to see a controller agent with such abilities and we'll need to test it out in real action to see how powerful it truly can be. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss our harbor guides in the future. They also fixed a bug where Viper's toxic screen would make small gaps around ground level in specific map locations. There are other minor bug fixes, we'll link the PVE patch note in the description if you want more information. They also fixed a sliver line of sight from A main to A link on the map Pearl. If you like our content, check out this video where we break down 10 things you can do that will make your enemies rage. Thanks for watching, and please consider subscribing. We'll catch you in the next one.